Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover. One from Lil Wayne, who revealed what it was like initially for him before his collaborations with Eminem and this has sparked some interesting reactions online, which we'll get to in a bit. Today we also have more from 50 Cent who threw some quote shade at Jay-Z in a recent interview with XXL when he gave credit to Beyonce for over a dozen of Jay-Z's Grammys and there's some backstory here that explains why 50 Cent brought up Jay-Z. So speaking on his relationship with Eminem, 50 Cent recently reiterated that for the top people in his life, he put Eminem next to his grandmother and 50 Cent briefly spoke on how the industry has been working against him and brought up what happened before the Super Bowl. And this is where Jay-Z was brought into the conversation. See, they don't understand the relationship. They was trying to get him to do the Super Bowl without me. It wouldn't happen. <laughs> no way. You see what I'm saying? Because he would look and go, it's okay for them, the award shows not to give me the trophies. If you look at the, the, even Jay-Z's career, you can look at that and say the association to Beyonce is when he started to receive the 16, but he has 16, 17 grams since he's been with Beyonce, right? And, and you go prior to that, one. Right. That came in association, like like you see the, the kids even have grams. Like, they don't, they don't sing yet. They don't sing. Right. <laughs> they don't rap yet. <laughs> and they already have Grammys and shit. So it's like they give... This, this giving this trophy so so we secure that they're coming mm. to the award show. It meant that much to the culture that they just gave them. To me, I didn't care about the trophies. That's how I get the checks. Now, for those who missed what went down, it may seem random that he'd bring up Jay-Z in a conversation about what went down before the Super Bowl. But based on reports from 2022 like this, Eminem told Jay-Z he wouldn't perform at the Super Bowl if he couldn't bring 50 Cent, says Nori. You know, 50 Cent is still pissed at Jay for that. In fact, back in 2022, he clowned Jay in response to this news by calling Jay a wannabe basket. And now he's given credit to Beyonce for getting Jay-Z over a dozen Grammys. And this has sparked split reactions because while 50 could be considered a hater, he's actually not wrong about the timing of Jay-Z's Grammys after association with Beyonce. Jay won one before Beyonce, and since Crazy in Love, he's won 23 Grammys. And on one end, some believe 50 is one of the only artists that will say what the people are thinking, laughing emojis, while on the other end, 50 is getting blasted. Nah. Fifth just mad his musical impact didn't last past the massacre and he had to find other ways to get money. Every time Jay drops, the hip hop world stops and listens and he more than likely delivers greatness. Fifth ain't did that since his debut, but some self-proclaimed Jay-Z fans actually agree with 50 Cent. I'm a Jay-Z fan, but it is undeniable that his marriage to Beyonce helped him reach an audience that he probably wouldn't have reached otherwise. Well. Jay-Z told y'all, I'm not a businessman, I'm a business man. And on this note, some have jumped to conclusions like this. That marriage was a strategic business move by him, if anything. But what do you guys think of this take? 100% I don't care what you say. Jay did not have the best albums in hip hop or music as those Grammys say. This is a common fact, Jay-Z has never been the number one dude in hip hop. He's an all-time great, I'll understand if you have top 5, but he's never been that guy. If so, tell me the year. Sheesh. But what do you guys think? Is 50 Cent speaking facts about Jay-Z, or is 50 Cent just bitter about Jay's success? Moving on to the next point today, via the New York Times to celebrate the 50th anniversary of hip-hop, Lil Wayne revealed this. I was scared, actually. When I called Eminem for a song, that is a monster. You must have the same thing I have with words. Like we can't get them out of our heads. Every meaning, every aspect of them, things that rhyme, we hear it. I already know the gift and the curse that he has and I love to hear the way he puts it together. And Wayne elaborated with this example. When I was on The Tonight Show, I was playing Pictionary and my thing was Harry Potter. So I drew a pot and they got that. I drew a man with a face and I put a bunch of hair around him. They were like, wait, he's hairy. I'm like, Harry Potter. We plan our words at all times. And in response to this, a user reacts, which is hilarious because I distinctly remember him saying Eminem was dodging him up until that point. But in actuality, Wayne said they couldn't directly reach Eminem and were only able to reach his team. We never called that man, man. We never called that man. We just, we, we reached out. We, okay. you know, we called the people, you know, and the people said no. You know, he was busy or something. I don't know. I'm calling you out. Yes. Come on out here. 
It's okay. I'm not calling you out to diss me, then, because I can't fuck with you. But I'm just saying, just come do a song, please, please, with please. For three E's. And some have concluded, this is why Wayne is goaded, never afraid to admit what every other rapper thinks. They know Eminem is a monster. Rappers are scared to go up against that behemoth of a lyricist. And we got reminded, but Twitter will tell you he is trash and Paul Wall is better. LOL peak Twitter. Share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more and see you on the next one.